confidence being heard at the COVID-19 inquiry is continuing to paint a picture of chaos and confusion at the heart of the government's response to the pandemic. Today, it was the turn of Sir Chris Whitty, who became one of the most recognisable figures in the country during that pandemic. Before proceedings closed for the day, England's chief medical officer said ministers didn't understand the idea of exponential growth, the pace of new cases increasing over time. He also said that scientists felt closing the borders would have only a very minimal effect on stopping the spread of the virus. His appearance comes a day after former chief scientific advisor Sir Patrick Vallance accused Boris Johnson of being bamboozled by science and the then Chancellor Rishi Sunak of being OK with just letting people die of Covid. Well, let's get the latest now with GB News presenter Pip Thompson, who's been outside the COVID inquiry all day. Pip, more startling revelations of a country going around like a headless chicken. What's the latest? England's chief medical officer, Martin, or geek in chief, as he's also been referred to, has had uh, so much to say that he's actually going to run into tomorrow as well. He'll be followed by his deputy, Sir Jonathan Van Tam. Now, what's been interesting in the last hour or so is what he had to say about the mass gatherings. Do you remember those, the mass gatherings that took place at Cheltenham Racecourse, at the rugby, at other sporting and public events? Well, Chris Whitty conceded that they actually sent the wrong message and signalled that the government couldn't have been that worried about the virus, else it would have banned them. He said the problem was not the gatherings themselves, but the impression they gave of normality at the time when what you're trying to signal is anything but normality. He said he would certainly have done things differently if he had his time over. What was also interesting was when he said the government was not as electrified by the threat of COVID as he could have been. And he gave an interesting comparison. He said if it had been warned of a terror attack that could kill 100,000 plus people, then it would have paid more attention. But it just didn't respond to natural threats or hazards in the same way. And that's a systemic failure rather than criticising individuals. That's what he told Baroness Hallett and the inquiry. He also uh, talked about this issue regarding lockdown. Now, we heard from former chief scientific advisor Sir Patrick Vallance yesterday, who suggested that uh, Sir Chris Whitty was a, a bit of a delayer over lockdown. But what Sir Chris Whitty told the inquiry today was that he was more cautious. Take a listen to this. I did have a stronger concern, I would say, than some, that the biggest impacts of everything we did and I was confident we were going to have to do them, to be clear. But when we started, the disadvantages of all the actions, not just full lockdown, but other actions before that, for example, what was initially called cocooning and then shielding, as an example, stopping schooling is another. The biggest impacts of those would be in areas of deprivation and those in difficulties and those living alone and so on. So I was very uh, aware that we essentially had two different things we were trying to balance. The risk of going too early, in which case you get all the damages from this with actually fairly minimal impact on the epidemic, and the risk of going too late, in which case you get all the problems of the pandemic running away. Now, as we know, I'm sure, come on to, my view is, with the benefit of hindsight, we went a bit too late on the first uh, wave. And so Chris Whitty also conceded today that uh, lockdown in March 2020 did come a little too late. He also uh, stayed away from criticising Boris Johnson personally, but spoke more about his unique approach. Now, as I said, tomorrow, uh, Sir Chris Whitty will finish his evidence. Then it's the turn of his deputy, his former deputy, Sir Jonathan Van Tam, or JVT, as we came to know him. Remember him? I'm sure you do. Well. He was also, Chris Whitty defended today, not raising the alarm across government after Jonathan Van Tam warned that a pandemic was imminent. Now, Sir Chris Whitty said JVT was often instinctive in his thinking, but that was a narrow basis on which to make big decisions. Much more to come, including Boris Johnson and Rishi Sunak next month. OK, Pip Thompson, superb update. Thank you very much, as ever.